Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, February 16th. I'm Jesse Shaw, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Wednesday, there is a school shooting at Major East Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Officer Butler will have a card for everyone to sign in the Commons area during Power Hour today. Now for a moment of silence to pay our respects to the victims and their families. Thank you. Starting off with clubs, the last day to buy your Matchomatic results is today. Results are $3 per student. There is a speech and debate meeting Tuesday during Prow Hour B. All members must attend. Moving on to sports, the soccer team is playing at the Bowl School in Jacksonville this Saturday at 7 p.m. for state semifinals. Here is Sean Humphrey with a special message. Six letters, one word, sports. We did a pretty significant sports thing this Wednesday for the second time in two years. We won the regional championship, and what that means is we advanced to the Final Four, where we play the Bowl School in Jacksonville again. But this means for the fourth time in seven years, we're in the Final Four, the third time in four years, and the second time in two years. That's right, back-to-back -back appearances in the Final Four. This time we're playing a familiar opponent. Bowls beat us in 2015. So it's more than just a winning story like we usually do. We win. It's a redemption story. We're going to go take what's ours. So we hope that we do these things that we did last year. Remember last year, the state semifinals, where we all celebrated together, where we all stormed the field, where we all screamed and lost our minds, going absolutely insane as we watched our classmates, our teammates, our friends win. There's nothing more fun than that. And even though this team is on the road this year, remember last year, think about this year. It's one team, new team, same goal. Knock on wood. Now to Dylan O'Brien with a segment regarding Ajene Fryer's senior project. Your Ajene Fryer will be hosting a dance this Saturday as her senior project to help raise money for cancer research. I wrote my research paper on that. I think it's so important for kids to understand that there are people dying from this disease every day. Like, I don't think we understand how much it affects everyone's lives daily. The humanitarian projects are always really interesting because um, the students aren't just learning something for themselves, they're doing something to benefit a greater cause, and that's always really admirable. So I wanted to do something that I know like most kids like, and like a homecoming dance is what I thought of for that. It's really a small community and everyone really supports each other, especially the seniors. They all know what each other's going through, and so you know, she's got a lot of support behind her, so I think it will be successful for sure. Any high schoolers can go, and I think I'm actually going to open up to middle schoolers at this point because not a lot of people are buying tickets. So tickets are $7 ahead of time, but you can also buy tickets at the door for $10. Anyone can come from West Shore or a different school. You can bring anyone you want. The dance will be held tomorrow at the David R. Shetcher Community Center in Satellite Beach. Sign up, show up, have a good time for five minutes or for the entirety of the, of the night. It really doesn't matter, but you're supporting a good cause. You're supporting a senior project. You know, you can't go wrong by doing that, and it, and it goes to a great cause. I really hope people come out and support because this means a lot to me, the cause means a lot to me, and it's also my grade. This has been Dylan O'Brien reporting for WCTZ. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Jesse Shaw. Have a lovely day, Wildcats.